Hey guys, welcome to today's video on how to stratify pine seeds. If you don't know what stratification is, it is the process of taking tree seeds and putting them through a cold period in order for them to properly germinate and grow into tree seedlings. Now stratification is a natural process that occurs regularly in the environment. You know, a large variety of tree species have to go through this process in order to reproduce and have seedlings the following year, such as, you know, oaks, bald cypress, even some redwood species. So what stratification really is, is you'll see trees shedding their either their acorns or seed clumps or whatever it is, and they'll be shedding them right in the fall time. And what's gonna happen is those seeds they drop are gonna go through a cold period, which is the winter time, and they're gonna bloom into seedlings, you know, the following spring. Now, what we're gonna be doing is simulating that, but doing it at home. And it's a lot easier to do it at home and you have a lot more control over a lot of, you know, variety of factors. And it's easier to monitor and have a good success rate with your seedling. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, to start our video, what you're gonna need first is gonna be your tree seeds. And what I have here is the pine seeds of the species I wanna use. I don't know the exact name offhand, but here's a comparison between a lollipop pine seed right here and the species I'm gonna be using. The species I'm gonna be using is a lot more slim and I love the way the trunks look and I, overall I think it's a lot more beautiful than your standard pine. So to begin our video, what we're gonna do is you need a plastic bag and I've seen people use containers as well. You don't have to use a plastic bag. I just prefer it, I think it's simpler. It saves on space. And what you're gonna do is get some moist dirt. I've seen people also use peat moss and sand. It really does not matter that much what you're gonna be using. Um, what matters is that it's moist and really it's gonna be kept cold. So what I do is I just take a little bit, not a lot, especially since these tree seedlings are so small. So now that we have our bag full of moist dirt, guys, what we're gonna do is now sprinkle in our seeds. And now I'm gonna be putting all of these in here. I mean, there is no real set rules or whatnot and which, how many you need to be putting in your bag and the consistency. What I just do is I put in a little bit, then I add some more dirt. And I actually just sprinkle in a couple more. Because these seedlings are very small and you know it takes a long time so i want to have a high success rate so i'm gonna do as many as possible all right so now that i have my seeds in my bag as you can see and they're all up in there what i'm gonna do is give it a nice little shape i'm gonna stir it up with my fingers as well and now what i'm actually going to end with is adding in a little more water because this soil is not that moist if you don't want to do too much, it's not going to be evaporating at all, but you know, just enough to make the soil nice and moist. So now after I've done that, I'm going to take it, make sure I sealed my bag, my table, and I should come over here, grab a marker, and I'm going to date it so I know when I need to pull out the seeds. So today is September 2nd, and these are pine. All right, guys, other than that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pop this in the refrigerator. And, you know, depending on the species of tree, it can either be a couple weeks, be a couple months. I mean, there's some tree species that even take a couple years, but most most of the time it's not gonna take a couple years. That's very rare. But what you wanna do is just check on it regularly, you know, every couple of weeks. And if you see any of the seeds start to root into the dirt, then you know it's time to pull them out and you can start to sow them and start growing them. Okay, guys, that's gonna be today's video. I know it's a short one, but there's really not too much to this one. Um, main things you wanna remember is make sure you you have the right seed and you know you don't want to have the wrong species and think you have the right seed a good way to check this is you know by looking at the tree's leaves and looking at the bark and all that good stuff and making sure you really have the right one and look up online you know what the seed looks like you know specifically with oaks there's quite a variety of you know white oaks red oaks and red oaks are the species that need to go through stratification whereas white oaks don't and they both drop their acorns during the fall time so it can be really confusing and kind of trying to identify everything so you know make sure you just know and have a good little maybe a picture or an image of the seed or the acorn and just you know so you know what it is and you can efficiently pick it out and just plant it properly so without any mistakes or end up growing the wrong plant that'd be really horrible but guys here is actual uh the actual pine tree seedlings i just put in for stratification these are the same thing i did and it was around a year ago and this is what they're looking like now so you know they're real small real tiny and only got three going right here i mean i did take it pretty serious in the beginning but towards the end i just kind of fell away from it so i haven't monitored them as much as i should have and you know probably giving them proper conditions and all that good stuff but yeah guys this is the results you're gonna be seeing after you know around a year or so right here and that's just some young little pine seedlings anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to catch you in another one you know have any questions comments concerns you know leave them in the comments below guys and i really appreciate it